Hey folks, it's Ivan with a quick tutorial on how to add in custom banners for medieval engineers that you've created yourself. The first thing we want to do is go into our mods file for medieval engineers. And the way to do that is to go into your C drive or your primary drive that you use. There we go. Then click on users, find your username. And then you're going to look for app data. Now, normally this folder is hidden. And if you're on Windows 10, you can click on the view tab here and check hidden items. Also check file names extension as well. That will be useful later on. And so we're going to double click on app data. We're going to go to roaming, scroll down to medieval engineers and go into the mods folder. Now I've already created two mods here, as you can see. And so we're going to create new, a new folder, and we're going to call it test banner. You can name it whatever you like. This is what the name of your mod is going to be. All right. And we're going to go into here, into the folder itself. And from there, we're going to create two other folders. The first one's going to be data. And the second one's going to be textures. And then we're going to leave the data file for right now and go into the textures folder. And then we're going to create two other, or we're going to create another bit folder called banners. That's with an S. And we're going to go into there. And from there, we're going to create two folders. The first is going to be called patterns. And the second one's going to be called symbols. Oh, if I could spell it right. There we go. Okay, once you've created your two folders, the next step is to create your actual artwork. Um, I use GIMP to create my art. Um, you can use paint.net, which was recommended on the wiki or Photoshop, but really needs the alpha uh, layer. So you can, um, or the ability to add an alpha layer rather. And so this is mine. It's kind of crude. I just put it together to begin with. Um, you may recognize it from my YouTube channel. Um, it's the icon I usually use, but in white form. The key is, is that anything that you create has to be white. It can't be colored. It can't be black, etc. It has to be white. That way it shows up um, on the actual banner. I tried it with just leaving it black, and it did not work. And so when you create your your uh, picture it has to be a 512 by 512 and then it has to be saved as a PNG file as well so as you can see I've already gone ahead and did that and I've created my patterns file which is just blank it's just an alpha layer and what you want to do is you want to take the patterns file and you want to put that in the patterns folder it's just that simple and then symbol goes in the symbol now we're going to go back out to the data file. Okay, here's the fun part. Once you're back to the data folder, uh, right click, click new. And here you want to click a text document or notepad, depending on what you got there. And then you want to change the file extension to an SBC. Oh, SBC, if I can type it right. There we go. And it's going to prompt you and say, "Do you are you sure you want to change this? It may be unusable. You're going to click yes. And again, for Windows 10 users, click view, and then you can change the, or click this file name extensions. That will allow you to change that to an SBC uh, file. Then you're going to right click on it, click edit. And then you're going to go over to the uh, Medieval Engineers Wikipedia copy the line of code that they have and paste that in. And as you see, it's got a lot of stuff here. And so we're going to go over here. You will see right here, it says pattern. And then it says the name of the file that they used and the description. And so what you want to do is right here, you want to change that to whatever your um, PNG is. In my case, I'm going to right click on the PNG I have out here on the desktop that I moved back out. 
I'm gonna rename it, just copy it. This is the easiest way I found to do it. Select that, paste it. There you go. Give it a description. This is just a description, so it could be anything. I'm just gonna paste in what I had before. Then we're gonna right click in the rename, copy the name itself. And we're gonna go over to where it says Clang and paste in Ivan's banner and get rid of that description. And then you're all set. Basically what that does is it tells the mod, go here for this pattern or go here for the, this uh, banner um, symbol. Okay, one last thing to take care of here. Um, we wanna make sure to make the sub type ID unique to this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take out the keen underscore example mod and just type in Ivan right there. And we're just gonna make sure that it is changed down here as well um, to Ivan. And you can name it whatever you want. I just left the Ivan and then ban that way that I understand exactly what's going on. And we'll click save here, file, save. Okay, and it should be set for you guys. And in a moment, we will take a look at the banner in the game. Okay, from here, um, you're gonna wanna either place a banner workstation or create one if you're in uh, create, uh, survival mode, rather. You're gonna walk up to it, press F. This first one here, don't worry about it. If it, that's for deluxe and it's got some patterns in it, it's not necessary. It won't affect your mod in any way, shape, or form. It's just an extra layer. The first thing you want to click is change pattern layer two. Then you're going to select or um, click on show patterns, and it should be there at the end. You can change the color to whatever you want. In my case, I'm going to leave it as black. Um, again, that emphasizing that when you create this uh, picture, it has to be white. Otherwise, it won't work. And I've tested it out myself personally, so believe me, it doesn't work. All right, so the next one is Change Pattern Layer 1. And you're going to click Show Patterns, and you've got a, a ton of patterns here. Check or check checkerboards, medium checkerboards, small checkerboards, etc. We're going to click it as, uh, we'll do a half and half for this demonstration. Then you can click on paint and you can change the color to anything you want. It's kind of cool. It reminds me of those weird things that kids used to make on the bus. They always seem to be purple and green. Eh, regardless. And then here's, of course, your main background color, which really doesn't change anything. Except for the back, um, I mean, aside from the background color, it doesn't change anything that you added to the folder anyways. Um, so that's the tutorial. And now when you create a uh, banner or anything, it will have your symbol on it. Thank you guys for watching. If you got any questions, let me know down in the comments down below. And I'll see you later. Bye.